crap. This one looks a little bit hair raising from the surface. All of this just for a fish tank dive. Let's see what it looks like. Yes, that's you, all the scuba divers and hopefully future scuba divers out there. My name is Jan, I'm a scuba instructor and you're on my channel. <laughs> Give it a good thumbs up. Today's dive site, or the dive site we're going to talk about today is called Patu Belong. And oh man, I don't even know where to start telling you about this dive site. It's truly incredible. Now, most likely you're going to visit this dive site if you're on a liverboard. But if you're not on a liverboard and you're on a day boat and you're limited with time, I really do recommend that you shop around, go to some of the different dive sites. They all display boards on the outside which dive sites they're going to visit the next day. And see to it that you get to Batu Belong. This is really a dive site you do not want to miss. Now, although there's no mantis over here, if you jump in, if you keep watching, you'll see why it's such an incredible site. It's, it's like swimming in a fish tank. But now, if you look at the dive map here, um, you'll see it's like it's a very tiny island. This is located in central um, Komodo with the area that I've drawn is sort of a sloping um, reef down. On the left, there's a bit of a wall area, but to the back of the island is normally where we don't jump, depending on the current. Because if there's strong current here, you'll even see it from the surface. It can be a little bit intimidating, but you need to jump if there's the island here and a current comes from the one direction, you need to jump in the quiet area of the current. Do not jump in the current like many of the dive sites you do here in Komodo, because this side, normally where the current comes from, there's a big wall. And if you're going to jump in the current there, you're just going to be trapped um, with a current pushing you against the wall and then, of course, a massive down current. And that's another thing I have to mention at this dive site. If you get it with current, you really need to pay attention to your guide. Do not go in front of him. Because if there is current on the corners of the dive site, you can get some severe down current. There's massive whirlpools and you can actually see them from the surface. Now, like I said, this might be intimidating, but if you listen to your guide, stay behind him because he will constantly look out for these down currents, then you'll be okay. So when we do jump in, jump in, of course, in a quiet area, make our way all the way down the slope um, till about 30 meters, of course. And then the path that we follow, if there's current, is basically a zigzag pattern. So we swim until we encounter some, or we can see the down current and then move to the opposite end. And then you make your way up like that. It's almost like a Christmas tree shape. Now, the drawback about that, of course, the shallower you go, the less diving area you're going to get. And if there's a lot of people, it can be a little bit, well, not so much fun because if there's divers below you, you're going to be in their bubbles and things like that. So try and um, time it. Ask your your, um, your cruise director or the, the, the head instructor on the boat that day that you guys time it when there's no current. Because if there's no current, of course, you can explore the entire dive site. Then you can go all the way around. And in the back area that I haven't drawn, there's a pinnacle that's slightly separated from the main island. You can, depending on your depth, when you get down there, of course, you can go in between in this tiny or narrow channel, or you can explore the top of it. But what's really, really beautiful if there's, on this dive site is, aside from the amount of fish that you can see in the deeper water and that everything is just covered in coral, is the coral reef in the shallow area. Now in the shallow area, I've it's it's been a while since I've seen incredible reef like that. Just the the um the table corals, it's just layers on on top of each other. It's just truly incredible. And, and just antheas everywhere, and a lot of fish coming in on top of these table corals, getting it clean. Uh, sergeant majors, fusiliers coming in, and beautiful unicorn fish coming in. And there's trevallies hunting, there's mora eels everywhere. You can find peacock mantis shrimp, flatworms. It's, it's like really, and the visibility is just absolutely astonishing. It's really like swimming in the perfect tropical fish tank. And like I said, be please be um, aware that if there's current, to stay behind your guide. But yeah, that's enough warnings, enough talking about it. Let me go show you what it looks like at Batu Belong. My name is Jan and welcome to my world.
So that was Batu Balong. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And like I said, if you do come to Komodo, please make it a point that you dive for this dive site. It's really an unbelievable an experience underwater over here. Just with a, you know, you can you can stay in the shallow 10, top 10 meters of this dive site. You don't need to go deep because it's just so, so beautiful. And it's easy to spend two, three hours at this dive site if you could keep your air for that long. But anyway, I hope you guys liked the video enough to give it a bit of a thumbs up. I would really appreciate the support. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you tell me what you think of the video and what was your experience maybe if you dived at Batu Belong. And don't forget to share it with your dive buddies. Until next time, take care.